there's still noise in the background, but it shouldn't be that loud. Um, yeah, I guess. Okay, I guess I shall just, I don't know, I have my mic here, so you will you can hear me better, I guess. Um, today I would like to talk and maybe come out again, I don't know, it's more of like a reflection of, um, I could be asexual. Um, um, so... I I came out as gray asexual or gray sexual, gray ace, gray a. Um, figured that out like a week or two ago, and basically means that I don't feel sexual attraction most of the times. It's kind of like an on and off thing. Sometimes I feel it. Sometimes I don't. Depends on the person. Most of the time I don't, um, 80 to 90% of the time I don't, um, yeah, um, like, so far, out of the three people I'm dating right now, only one of them I feel sexual attraction to, and that's, like, only, like, 20% of the time. So, most of the time, I don't feel sexual attraction, so that means I'm leaning more towards being asexual. So usually when I come out to people, like, or like, like, if I don't want to go through the whole explanation, I usually just say I'm asexual because I'm almost always asexual. And, um, yeah, that is, that is pretty much my little self-discovery today. 90% sure I'm asexual. Um, I feel like it could have tied in a little bit with my dysphoria and me being autistic. I, because I feel so disconnected with my body, I don't feel sexual attraction, I don't want to do anything about it either, and, um, being autistic, I, I can't pick up, like, cues, so if someone's, like, I can't pick up on cues, I can't, like, I'm really bad at flirting, I don't know if someone would be flirting with me since I can't pick up cues, and, like, yeah, I'm just, I'm just kind of like numb to a lot of that stuff, I guess. And like, I'm still in the process of coming out to people. I've come out to my, my one of my girlfriends so far, and she's really accepting of it. But um, my other girlfriend and my boyfriend. I did send them a message, and I don't think they've seen it yet. So I'm still waiting on that. Um, lately I've been pretty dead, I guess. Like, my OCD's suddenly gotten worse again. And my sleeping patterns have been, become completely out of whack. And I'm really trying to fix it. I'm going to see my gender therapist about it and maybe tell her about that stuff. Because, like, she does ther- I'm pretty sure she does therapy for other things, too. But, like... Yeah... Yeah, I'm going to ask her about it and... I don't know, hopefully get some treatment because my OCD has been... So bad that sometimes it's even painful. Like I get 
really bad headaches, feel really sick and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's about it. I mean, um, some people I've been talking to at Transcare BC, they've been telling me to, um, go to, like, the nearest mental health clinic. They get, he gave me the directions and stuff like that. I just need to find some time and motivation to go, I guess. That's all. Like, it's really hard for me to get out of bed and stuff. Um... Yeah, like, I've been struggling a bit with that. And, like, especially now that we're in a new semester in school, since my school has a semester schedule, which means we have four classes for the first half of school and then another four classes for the second half of school. So we're in this, like, second half now, second semester. So we're, like... All the classes are pretty easy and new right now since we're just starting out. But, um, if I keep on skipping school, I could, I'll probably end up failing a lot of classes. And I really don't want that to happen, so I really, I really want to get my mental health fixed up. Or at least looked at. Because I have quite a few stuff. Anxiety, OCD, depression, my weird personality thing that I don't even know what it is anymore. It's like my personality switches, but it's not exactly my personality. It's kind of like, oh, it's so hard to explain, but yeah, um, I guess that's pretty much some reflecting, updating stuff that's been happening. I haven't done a sit and talk kind of video in a while. They've all been like drawing videos because I just discovered Ibis Paintex and <laughs> I've been drawing on that for a while. Um, I guess, I don't know, anything weird happening? Well, not really, but I did I did win a contest on um, one of my old videos, well, one of my past videos, um, the, the duck one, the one where I drew that duck, um, that was for an icon contest for the duck squad on Discord, and I won, I was in the top four, they haven't decided which one is going to be their icon, but I won free nitro and I'm pretty happy about it. Yeah, that's about it. Um, I mean, I did go do some shopping, and I bought some envelopes, so now I can send my girlfriend her very, very, very late birthday present. Her birthday's in November, and it's January. No, it's February, so it's really late. But anyways, um, so I guess I'm just gonna hopefully get back to school tomorrow if my OCD doesn't interfere and I, I don't know I think I'm gonna sleep early like try to recover as much as I can and yeah so thanks for sticking around um I'll see you all in the next sit and chat video.